Well, I'm going to introduce a really old friend now. Uh, I, f I first heard about Colin uh, from probably one of the best, or if not the best living harmonica player in, in the wake of, of, of the death of Paul Butterfield. Uh, not, not a household name, but a guy named David Bergen, who just was amazing. He played in my band when I first started my own band in the Bay Area in the late 70s. I brought him up here on tour, and uh, he had every harmonica player in Canada following him around for lessons, and he loved it up here. He's particularly like the pro your, your fair province, and uh, you had the fortune and or misfortune, because he's pretty crazy, uh, of, of, of moving uh, to Vancouver. He married a gal from Winnipeg, and he formed his own band. He came, and uh, before he moved to Winnipeg, he was still in the Bay Area, and he came back and he said, I started this band up in Canada. I got a good, a good bass player, good drummer, but I, I have this 17-year-old kid on guitar, and said, Amos, you will not believe this guy. He, he's absolutely spectacular. I mean, a phenomenal player, and he's just a kid, you know. And, uh, and he, told, uh, he told me his name, I forgot, you know. But uh, some of you, you know, another year or so, I was, I was, I, I had moved to Canada, and I'd start, started a band in Alberta, and uh, I, and Bergen was still playing, and I came over, and I heard Colin James the first time, and uh, met him, and uh, we've been friends ever since. He's, you all know him. He's a, he's a, he's a patriot son uh, uh, of your fair province. And he's accomplished so much in, in his career. Uh, I'm going to hand the microphone over to him right now. Colin. All right. Thank you, Amos. Amos, I followed you too, man. I had your uh, I had your cassette tape lessons. I bought the cassette tape lessons. Would do everything I could to put a double note band in a song for about five years. You know? <laughs> Always hard know, to know exactly what to do. Um, uh, it's really great to be here today for a number of reasons. Uh, I love Amos, and I've always loved his playing so much, and uh, meeting some new friends uh, as well, and uh, some old friends. Danny Kochmar over there produced my first record in 1988, the Voodoo Thing, and all those. So, so Danny, and. Uh, we did that down in L.A. And, and Wadi, I played with Billy Cowsell. You guys all remember the great Billy Cowsell. And uh, I was recording. I brought Billy down to sing on Five Long Years, which he does, which a lot of people don't know. He's doing the ooze in the background. And, uh, and Wadi and Billy were old friends from uh, New England. Is that right? Yeah. So they knew each other, and I met Wadi back then, and of course, uh, subsequently ended up to opening some shows for Keith Richards and Expensive Winos. And so it's great to see Wadi. We don't get to see each other every day. So I'm going to do a one chord song, everybody. How's that sound? <laughs> What is the soul of a man? I saw crowds stand talking. I came up a while on time. I was hearing the doctors and lawyers said a man ain't nothing but his mind. Man, nothing more than his mind.
talking Well, I came up right on time I was here in the doctor's lawyers Said a man is nothing more than his mind Right there. Thank you so much.